chicken. Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Yeah. Hello, Anthony Sedlock. How are you? You really made good. it. What's going on, guys? You made it. You had a grand tour of Ottawa in the morning. That's good. It's a seating group. Yeah. <laughs> and now you've made it. Yeah. How are things? Things are really good. Are we doing this segment? Is it the three of us? Yes, it is. Yes, yes. You have assistance. That's what we're here for. Yeah, we'll like help you. Over there. We'll help you. <laughs> That's we easy to do. Guys. We were right. just talking about your new uh, restaurant in Vancouver, yeah. and for those headed out, maybe for Grey Cup or whatever, yeah. uh, it's a, what's it called? The American Cheese Steak. Co. It's a late night Philly cheesesteak joint, oh. 50 style milkshakes, skinny onion rings, twice cooked fries, lots of stainless steel, you lots of guys with tattoos. It's cool. Do you know what's better than a fry cooked once? Twice. <laughs> I like it's twice. so good. Cook twice, four times as good. That's what I say. All right, oh, yeah. good. Good. Right, boys. good. What are we making? What are we making? We're cooking with Oikos Greek yogurt. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to make a butter chicken. How do you feel okay. about it? I feel fantastic. It's healthy. Yes. Greek yogurt is a great substitute to is some of the, you know, typical creamy sort of uh, ingredients like cream, sour cream, mayonnaise. And yeah. it's got loads of protein, right? Mm -hmm. you, you were saying before we started, yeah, yeah loads of protein, yeah. high protein, very low fat, so yeah, okay. immensely healthy. And what I like about the Oikos one is that uh, the mouthfeel, the texture, it's creamier, and it has a bright acidity that lends itself really well to both savory and sweet dishes. Wow, okay. okay. Oh, you lock and load. Listen, yeah, guys, uh, official sous chefs here. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. In this bowl, you're doing the chicken. Okay. You can get in there with the spices. Come I on, just dump it right in. Oh, yeah. it, boy. These oh, yeah. spices here. Oh, these ones? So we're adding uh, turmeric. Okay. A little bit of turmeric. You're going in there with the tandoori powder. Oh, this Whoa. is tandoori? Tandoori powder. And basically, we're going to marinate this chicken. Okay. This is chili spice, so it brings a little bit of warmth to the dish, of course, as well. Very yeah. colorful. Okay. Very colorful. Of course, Indian cuisine is all about bright yeah. flavors. Right. Ginger, freshly grated ginger. Oh. And you can freshly grate me some garlic. Sure and then can. once it's grated on this fine rasp, you want to scrape it off the back of the rasp. Gotcha. And this is actually, trust a white guy to come and make butter chicken, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is actually, <laughs> <laughs> this is fifth generation uh, recipe. And it's uh, an unbelievable butter chicken recipe. Okay. And one of my dear friends' grandmothers gave this to me. So. Wow. No kidding. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Jeffrey, I'm what's terrible going at on this. Here, here, here. I need a lot more. I fell, it fell down. Come and on, let's like, go talk right. Come on now. <laughs> oh, here we go. There we go. Now the whole garlic's in here. I have here. no problem with that. Dude, you're we right. got enough, right? You're there right. we go. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to give this a stir. Okay, I'm going to stir. Mix it up. Now in the pot here, lads. Let's <laughs> <laughs> up this somehow. Is this all a joke to you? No, no, is it is. This is just a funny joke. No, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm on some sort of cooking <laughs> talent show and I'm the big loser. Hey, this is food and this is serious. It is. This is that. This is ghee. It's clear butter it's uh, the staple fat for cooking okay in uh, in Indian cuisine so it's uh, it's butter that's that in right? touch with its own philosophy it's clarified <laughs> it's clar what, right? what does clarified mean <laughs> actually it means uh, have you ever you know Friday night maybe you're with the missus <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> You're sent downstairs to make popcorn. Yeah. Yes. Put the butter in the microwave. Yes. yes. She probably rented Dirty Dancing. Yes. <laughs> she probably uh, did too. Go get the popcorn, honey. <laughs> and you melt the butter, and there's a thin layer of liquid. That white liquid is yes. milk. Okay. So this is butter ah. with the milk removed. Oh. So it doesn't burn in the pan. Okay. Oh, I like that. It so it can handle a burn. higher yep. heat. Okay. Go. Good. So our chicken, very Look at bright, that. beautiful oh. red color. We're gonna put that into our ghee, guys. This is called ghee. Right. Mm -hmm. In that okay. goes. Oh. In that goes. And because we are, uh, because we have spices on our chicken, we don't really want to uh, have too high heat here. We're looking just to gently brown the chicken, okay? okay. And of course, through the miracle of TV, we're gonna assume that you know, right. it takes four or five minutes to brown here. Right, right. And then we're gonna start to build the flavors. So once this browns up a little bit, maybe we'll put, maybe we'll, maybe we'll turn the heat up. Turn yes. it up. Okay. okay. And hammer yeah. it. Once the heat goes up, we're going to add a little bit of organic chicken stock okay. that can go in. Mm -hmm. I'm all about organics. Mm -hmm. It's very important what I put into my body is sort of top shelf. Yep, go, go to town, my man. <laughs> so then... <laughs> there's no would, fear in this kitchen, Kurt. There's no, there's no fear. No fear. <laughs> we, would, uh, we would simmer this down. Okay. We want to reduce the chicken stock. All of these recipes are at oikos.ca. This is my butter chicken recipe. It's online, okay, as well good. as about over a dozen other recipes. Uh, <coughs> some of mine, some not. Right. And uh, next step here, we're going to add a little bit of whipping cream. So we're going to thicken up the sauce. We're gonna, that's exactly it. We're yeah. going to thicken up this sauce. Yeah. And then we want to simmer this out. And it's OK that some of the fat is coming to the top. We're building our butter chicken sauce. Butter chicken is probably 
is probably the most tangible, recognized Indian dish. Indian dish. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You're going in with some brown sugar. Okay. You're going in with some nutmeg. Okay. Uh, 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 come on now. Come on. That, there oh, you. yeah. Is that the brown sugar well sound spread. Effect? Yeah. <laughs> Now, now, listen, oh tell boy. us about your, uh, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> Nothing, tell us about, about your television programs. Yeah, I got two new shows coming up. Uh, I'm involved in a show for OWN Network, that's the Oprah Winfrey wow, Network, in wow. case you were born on this planet yeah. Yeah. and yeah. didn't know that. Uh, and that's coming out in January, and then I have a new show called Family Cook-Off, which is going to air on the Food Network, I love Canada, that. and that's tail into summer. So, now we're going to add the magic. We're gonna add some seasoning. Right. I would say the single-handedly, single-handed biggest difference between home cooking and restaurant cooking is the use of seasoning. We gotta taste our food. We need to season it. That gets the most salivating, and then that's when we really taste the big flavors. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Now we're going in with our Oikos Creek yogurt, and again, this yogurt is like, uh, it's it's awesome both in sweet dishes and savory dishes. All the recipes Oikos.ca. So the yogurt goes in. And this is kind of an alternative to using full cream across the board in this recipe. Right. And you uh, have some cream in there, but not a lot. There's a little bit of cream. Yeah. And of course, uh, Greek yogurt, as you said, high in protein. But moreover, for savory recipes, what I really like about it is, uh, is the acidity. You know, it's not, it doesn't overwhelm the palate. Right. It's still bright, and it still takes on flavors really well. And then in that same vein of brightness, lime. Okay. Worcestershire. Go. <laughs> I love how you're laughing at him. You're like, lime. <laughs> He's going to mess it it's up. the driest lime. A little ever. bit of is that a dry lime. That one is. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Squeeze that bad boy. It's Guys. Actually, it wasn't dry. It was hand power I was laughing at. There, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So now this comes to a simmer. You just want to cook this chicken very gently. If we're cooking at a too hard of a boil, the chicken actually becomes dry. Now right? you talk about building flavors, yeah. right? Because yeah. you're building the sauce here. Yeah. Is that a, a case of you take your mm. time and you add certain things at certain points yeah. during the, the I mean, process. You, you nailed it. I've always said cooking is an exercise of time management. And like the big secret is that cooking is a lot easier than people think. Yeah, yeah. yeah I it think really that's right. is, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it's when we approach food with this complicated mentality that it becomes really complicated. You know what I mean? So this needs to simmer out. I would recommend serving this with like a nice basmati rice, yeah. some beautiful naan bread, and uh, you know, it's yeah. a nice, simple Indian you go. dish, right? Yeah, yeah. rocks and rolls. Also, too, you know, and this is something I want to encourage to people all the time is that if you don't like something in a recipe, a recipe is just a, it's just a bloody guideline. Yeah. Like, pull it out. If you don't like, you know, tandoori pa paste or tandoori powder, just mix it. If you don't like the heat, pull the chilies. Put something else in, you know? Right, yeah. It's flexible. Cooking should not be rigid. And that's why I always lean towards savory cooking. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a chef chef, you right. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't do tons of pastries. <clears throat> pastries are very tactile. I need to be candid. As you can tell, I'm crazy about a bag of marbles. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Well, well, laughing right? I know, I'm laughing with you. I'm laughing with you. I'm laughing with you. I'm laughing out here. He's going to be okay. So listen, the restaurant's doing well, right? Yeah, we did 350 people at our restaurant the first day open. And we've been doing between 350 and 500 every day. That's unbelievable. The American Cheese Steak, steak Co. Oh. I love and it. And where is it in Vancouver? 781 Davy Street. And when you buy a Greek yogurt, you should buy this kind. This is the Honestly, stuff. it's the best. Greek yogurt is huge right now, but, and they're all high protein, they're all low fat, but this one has the flavor and the texture. It's and awesome. that's, you know what I'm saying? Look, look at the flavor and the texture. You can't taste, but you Probably can see. Carbs. Look yeah, at either. it, look at that. Mm. 18 grams Delish. of protein and hardly any carbs. Fantastic. Any fat. Can't go wrong. Yeah, are we gonna try uh, the chicken? Well, let's, let's try, try that butter right. chicken. Right. All right, I'm gonna get over here. Yeah. Oh, so this right. one's finished, boys. Yeah. That's okay. the one we're gonna tuck into here. All right. Here's your high quality cutlery. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't mess wow. around here, buddy. White china. Yeah. White china. <laughs> well, we had we had metal ones until the. You got to do it classy, see? Yeah. You gotta it's do it real true. classy. It's all yeah. classy. Remember that thing that happened that with the. Mm, all right, mm, let's go. The fork. And yeah. So I mean, building the flavor. Oh my it's God. all about that. That is delicious. Yeah, it's nice. I think mm. I think this one is going to be uh, not so far off here. Is the right? crew is going to like that a lot. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Oh, so good. Anthony man. said. We are winner. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony said. Uh, 
<laughs> See his uh, show on the Food Network, on the Oprah Winfrey Network. Thanks. Are you ever at the Cheesecake Company? At the American, are you ever there? <laughs> I am. You just I opened actually, and you yeah. took off. Yeah. Hey, open this thing. Yeah. I gotta go. So, I'll see you later. Yeah. It was fun, it was fun being on his show just now. Yeah, I know. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 9.55, we'll be right back. Oh my goodness, that's good.